Well hello there guys, Medieval Scroll here with part 4 of our Eltherion campaign for the Vortex and we're going to pick things up where we left them last time. We are headed for Galboraz. Now unfortunately this is actually held by Kemri who have started to steamroll this way but also I think south because they own some of this area so Numas is gone as well. Yeah, definitely. Now anyway... We are going to have to force march our way in, but that is for next turn. We are looking at rebellions at Sartosa, which should be okay, in theory. Uh, and also at Elisi and Toyvres. But all of that is kind of immaterial at the moment. We're going to hold on to our money for as long as we can, because we need to be making money. Uh, rebellion in northern Yvres and at Sartosa, that's fine. Duty. Right, okay. We have our rebellions. Public order is awful. Cavill has gained the ranks. We're going to go hard to hit again. Need to make him into kind of a melee bloke. Uh, and we're going to come over here. We're going to annoy people once we uh, run on up. And the idea is to take Galbaraz and Gorgazan in the same time. And then head down and take Numas together. They... I mean, I'm not really concerned about the Salt Plain because all of this is Kemri Heartland, essentially. So, provided they'll let me have what I want without getting in my way too much, I won't be bothering them. Now, Shrine of Loic. Level that up. Yeah, we'll stay like that. And... End the turn. Now, yes, yeah, so the plan is take those two and move south. If we can avoid a full on war with Kemri, we will. Don't know how much Kemri's going to allow that. They might not allow it at all. Uh, which case. Um, Althuan expects. Yeah, we're kind of. My not going to be able to do. Oh, for difference. God's sake, come Assume on. But we're going to move to there and we're going to heal up as best I we can. Permit. I know that we are on a very delicate time frame. Of I get that, and I understand. Sends us. But I need to uh, I know, know that we're not going to get attacked straight away. Okay, they are currently clear. Could hit Numas instead. That's probably more valuable to me than Gorgazan. Can't hit it this turn though. Uh, I have to make a decision over speed or replenishment. Right, okay. Uh, whilst we're thinking about that, we're going to go for cartridge ammunition. Or our artillery. Do you know what? No, we're going to go straight Stand in at Galbaraz. Play a war. There we go. Forgive me. Oh, I don't think it's anywhere near that bad. Remove this threat. Uh, we're going to go in at Gorgazan. Strike them down. They will suffer. That's fine. The amount of damage Coin we've taken there. We're going to required. loot and occupy. Right, so we'll repair the money and we'll get rid of the public order. And we will repair the town. They cannot live. Yeah, and then we'll take Galbaraz. There we go, and we'll go in and we'll do this ourselves, because that is no way uh, what's going to happen. I seriously don't think that's what's going to happen, so we have no choice but to do this ourselves. Standard deployment, and once we've taken Galbaraz, we'll do, say, a turn of replenishment. Might be the case that we have to send Cavu out in advance, in which case we'll replace him with another unit. And we'll have to scout our way south because otherwise we're going to get jumped on by lots of Kemri armory, well, Kemri armies. And don't forget, Grom is nearby as well, which we can't really allow. Especially seeing as he owns the next target, we need to kind of scour him out of the mountains, if possible. 
I mean, of course, it may not be possible. It might be that we end up in a war that we can't really do much about, especially so far away from our own territory. But, you know, needs must and all that. Right. Eagle Claw. Bolt throwers over here. It shall be done. Right, now, we will obey. I'm pretty sure Kemri have access to that obey. silly bloody thing where they get to blow things up. Archers. And if they do, I don't I really want them. all of my troops getting destroyed. Archers. Without fail. Oh, sod it. We'll put them all in the same group. Archers. All of those as well. And then we'll put these two out front. Over here. Uh, War Doggo's kind of... Here-ish. Off of that, you're on that. That's fine. Start deployment and destroy that tower, please. Need to see if that tower is going to... Nope, we are missed. Fantastic. Right, let's speed up and fast forward. And we'll put our little uh, phoenix over here. It's not going to get hit. We want to be able to rush it in when the towers have gone down. Oh, god damn. Move them forward because that is not the units I want to get hit. rather um, not great not great at all how long on this bloody tower come on they are gonna wipe out all of my bloody units aren't they Ay, god damn. Right, archers. To here. You can pull back. You can fire that tower over there. You can sit here-ish. Bring both of those out and just fire at will. Rinse them, please, because they have done more than enough damage to you. Right, phoenix over this way. And pull ourselves around. And then, boom! Racking up the kills, yeah! Right, many of the skeletons are dead. This is rather fantastic. Alright, move them to there. Bring the war dogs over here. Eltharion. And Cavill, you can run in there and we'll bring war dogs up actually. Eagle Claw. Make all, all of you fire there. Now, we have to be careful, they've got you Shabdi that they can spawn in. For duty. So let's pull forward a bit with our archers so that we can just hit everyone. Because then that is everything. That is game set and match then, essentially. Archers. Warden of Do you know what? Servant Both of you get up on the walls. Bring people within range of our archers. It will be done. Right, both of you form here. Jesus Christ. Four, three, two, and boom! Vortex time! Woo! All right, Altherion can guard himself. All right, all of you charge in there. You lot, drop your siege equipment and run. Oh, 
So this battle hasn't been overly costly. It's not that they're really good fighters or anything like that. We're having that much issue with them. The issue is that they just keep spawning things on top of us. Alright, now you can, can get on there. Right, good, we're shredding them now. Oh, for God's sake. Drop your artillery and run. Drop your artillery and run. Cool. Right, now that that's been sorted. Let's pull all of these guys over this way so the archers can actually hit a bit better. Ooh. Let's right, come out, come out, come out. Oh, the gates yes, the gates are down. Good. In you go. I could do another vortex, but not going to yet. We're just gonna shred them with archers still. Orders received. Defending order. God. Damn. Archers. Right, time to charge with the infantry. In you go. Eldarion. You two can come down here as well. Without fail. Death to all. Right, see if you can hit that bloody prince. You can, good. Eldarion. The might of Ivress. Good, good, good. Right, stop being defensive now, just go and get him. There he goes. And into the cage. And into the cage. And you, there we go. There we go. You've killed him now. Well done. Try it over there. Bring these guys in. Bring these guys forward. Alright, there's an... Yeah, yeah, let's throw her in there. Got a lot of kills, so I'm happy with you. All lines come back this way. Archers. Killed tons of spearmen. Right, now try and come this way. Alright, now I'd prefer not to take too much damage. We're going to heal up. As we're going, it would be nice to invest in a healing spell for Cavill, but uh, not to be just yet. There we go. Potion of toughness. Let's heal him up. Without fail. Right now, all of you push forward on those Yushabdi. Take the phoenix with you. Command me. Always ready. All right, and then we can heal up the phoenix. There we go. You shabdi dealt with and gone, I think. Yes, I would say so. Pretty much, at any rate. Alright, you lot pull back. Archers pull into here. We're going to get some healing done first. I want to heal up uh, our phoenix a little bit. Cool. There we go. And done. Was... Um, Bloody Tomb Kings. I mean, we did okay. We only lost 140, so that's not a lot. But, you know, I would have liked to have lost less to get any deaths on our bolt throwers. Just unavoidable.
well, unacceptable, sorry, not unavoidable, was avoidable, we could have just put some units on top. Spearmen, maybe, and then attacked with the aggressive troops, but... Yeah, kind of didn't. I have to remember that for next time, because that is just damn nasty. This right. Now, I'm tempted to loot and occupy. But I don't want the settlement to go down too far. Waystone maintenance uh, is expensive. Sure. I mean, it's at tier two. It's okay. Not like it's the end of the world. Prince. Okay, right, Altharion. We are going to go for Stormwing. We've taken Galvaraz, which gives us an extra five grand, and into the Badlands, which is plus one Warden Supply per turn, uh, plus five to Athel, Tamara Faithbearer, Skyhawk, Sentinels of Astral, Spire Guard of Toy Givres, and plus one Public Order for all provinces. Huzzah! Now, I think this only lasts for as long as we hold the province. So, we need to hold on to it as long as possible. Destruction and... Luckily, we've kept hold of Elven Artisan as well. That's going to pump up the economy just a smidge. Uh, we want Burning Head again over here. And we're going to bring both armies down. And we kind of want to hear... What's that do? Movement range and income, public order. And ca carrion's not that good. So if we destroy the Salt Plain, then we can move away because they'll have to come and get it again. Now, over here, can't do anything in that province. That, though, we can upgrade the harbour and we can upgrade the fairground. Sartosa is just going to have to deal with that, I'm afraid, because we can't really go for it. Mm, I mean, I do want that. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade for the recruit rank Swear that the Mistwalkers first. And that bumps us up to level 2! Huzzah! And what that means is that he's all over Yvres, uh, both north and south. Uh, we now get summon the Sentinels in uh, local armies when defending Tor Yvres. And Oath of Replenishment for local armies defending Tor Yvres. Now... Uh, Oath of Replenishment replenishes ammo, leadership, and vigor. Uh, some of the Sentinels uh, causes no damage and does not affect friendly troops. It summons a unit of Sentinels and they uh, basically just attack in a tear shape. So it's kind of like a breath, I suppose, and it can disrupt unit formations. Now, I believe if you upgrade it, yes, it does do an attack. Yeah, I think what it does is when you get up to defense level three, um, it makes it actually hurt enemy units as well. Uh, and the Oath of Replenishment will then go for adding missile damage, armor piercing missile damage, perfect vigor, unbreakable. Lovely jubbly. Right, uh, commandment, that is probably very important. So we're going to go for growth and construction cost. We're going to rally around Gorgazan next turn. So this yes. unit will come out and encamp and then he will come down and go into the town. And that's what's going to have to happen. I think. Yeah, because we need... So as much as we need uh, to keep moving and do it quickly, we also need to make sure that our armies are replenished enough to do so. So I don't want to be rushing off to war when... It really doesn't need to be that quick. Now we're going to build a watchtower here at Gorgazan. Ooh, Toyivra is besieged and that is making us None lose loads of money. Will hold. Ah, give it a turn. And we shall be able to go out and do that ourselves. Uh, right, this army. Magic's unleashed. Magic in purest form. There we go. And you into Gorgazan. 
Although, just a couple of archers, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a couple of archers. Master of magic. How much movement have you used? Ah, too much. Might be worth hitting new mass first then. Alright. Kemri hasn't appeared on the horizon. Oh, now Sartosa is besieged as well. Ah. Right, now as all of our money is coming from Toyivra. Send Louis! We're under the siege. Follow strength. Yeah, I mean we My don't prowess is needed. Don't really the need to need me. It must be done. Bye bye. Remove their bonds. Uh their we'll take money and influence if that's okay. Money and influence seems fine. They're also taking a smidge of damage. It's just those ones that aren't going to get any weaker. So if we lose Sartosa, we lose... Only 475. That's not bad. Trained by the White Tower. Be prepared, Asser. Right, they have got a king there. Doesn't have a very big army, in fairness. What we're going to do is we're going to sneak forward... And ambush there. And then with Eltharion, we're going to hit Numas. And I would love to be able to leave this battle to an auto resolve, but we kind of can't. It's a siege, they'll wreck our army, and then we won't be able to move anywhere. So we've got to do this one ourselves as well, I'm afraid. Which is a bit of a pain. But them's the rules. There's going to be a lot of smaller battles that, realistically, we probably didn't have to fight, but we're going to have to anyway. And I want to capture a Tomb King and see if we can interrogate it. So our next upgrade is going to be the Interrogation Cells upgrade. Um... You know what? We'll hit from this side this time. Now... Uh, spears Spearman. can be there. Group of archers. It will be done. Group of archers. Uh, one lot of rangers in there, and a lot of rangers in there. And then we'll have these guys right at the back. War doggos over. War doggos over here. As you say. Move these guys back again. Uh, and then we'll have him here. Him over here and the Phoenix over here. And then, right, they need to be bunched up. And off of that and start deployment. Take out that bloody tower. Oh, I didn't look to see if they had the abilities. Oh, really? What are you doing? From there. Oh, for crying out loud. Right. Come on. This is ridiculous. Fire at me, fire at me, fire at me. Take out that bloody tower. Right. Heal yourself. Right, both of those can sit there like so. Ready. 59%, that's good. I don't want to be hit by bolts. Okay, tower destroyed. Fantabitastic. Go all out, lads. Go all out. And it'll be one great big group. And you know what? We are actually going to put them back on fire at will because we don't need them to be amazing. And then we're just going to line these guys up behind. Lawmaster over here. 
Phoenix on this side and bring the war doggos up over here. Yes, here we are. Okay, and then let's come in down here with Altharion. Get a nice little look at Stormwing as he rips through everything. Yes, look at that. What a gorgeous little sausage it is. Right, get out and heal up. Uh, what's going on? Oh, bloody hell. For duty, All right, move that way. Artillery, try focusing on that tower. We've lost units now through stupidity and stupidity alone. I take full responsibility for that. All right, Eltharion. Actually, no, we'll bring the Phoenix in now. Eltharion and the Phoenix. Because that's a halberd infantry. And we can, realistically, just shoot at it. Okay, that's good. That's all ours. Archers now, go up and take the walls. All of you, very quickly. And you two, just pull back. We're going to let the archers do this. Cease fire. They can't take us out anymore. They've got nothing that can uh, get up on the walls apart from their halberd. And if their halberd does it, yeah, we will wreck them. Alright, all of you form up all the way along. Okay, Altharion. I think it's time for another strike. Okay, there we go. Warden of Altwa. Bring Cavill this way as well. Okay, everyone is shooting at him now, but they're not doing too much damage. Warden's cage, and there we go. Everyone is now debilitated. Decisive victory. Maybe not as offensive as it could have been, but I mean, realistically, we lost 19 men that we shouldn't have done, so... Yeah, I'll take that. At least we've now taken new mass. We're not going to get a lot of replenishment for it because it's not a territory that we're particularly good with. But other than that, we're okay. And it is one more step on the path towards Grom and Karak Arud. Okay, um, we shall sack Please it, analyze. and then we'll go in and take it. Prince um, do, 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 do. um, we could go for dedicated for Ladriel, but we don't really have a lot of Mistwalker units yet, so gonna go Sword Player. And for Cavill, we're going to have our to hit again. Lovely stuff. Now, we are actually making a lot of money again, so we're going to upgrade Elven Artisan at Gorgazan. Can't do anything there. Anything at all, Yivra? Nope. Sartosa? No, still... I mean, we could actually upgrade now if we weren't under siege. 
Prince Thanks for that, green uh, vampires. Right, Camry. Right, it says they've got five lands, so... There's the linchpin. After that, if we bring both of our forces towards Kemri, we should be able to pretty much knock them out and stop them from being a threat. Although they are... Um... Yeah, they're, they're not... They're not normal... They're not like everyone else. You don't just take the capital and they stop being able to produce tons of units. They will um, just keep producing units regardless because they've got loads of choddy spears and archers and stuff. Have you come to help me avenge my father? If not, I have not. So, or rather, they have not. They are. <laughs> They're going after Imric. That's not good. Brian of Loic can have that for ports. And let's now let's swap them away quickly. Lend us your strength. Can't. Okay. Uh, in that case, then let's. Just hold on to the money, I suppose. My life for Tor I could hit Qatar. Doesn't have a big garrison. I would like to know what's down there before I do anything. I need an agent. Hmm. Right, well they are no, sending up a this time. Necrotect. I My think, right, wins. I need to weigh up the options of what's going to be better, whether I press south Our and take Qatar and then assured. press west and take Salt Plain or send everyone at the Salt Plain and take out that king whilst he's recruiting. Uh, I don't know. All I do know is I am going to upgrade the interrogation In chamber. We are now at 55. You've rest defense level. We are just beginning through defense level 2. I can't wait until we hit defense level 3 and hit 100. That would be rather spicy. Um, yeah. Okay, right, we're going to leave it here. I need to make a decision, and you guys need to get involved as well. If you want me to go west and hit the Salt Plain as a concerted force, then let me know in the comment sections down below. Same if you want me to split my forces up, go west and south at the same time to surround Kemri. Let me know about that, because we currently have no information about what is where, which is rather unfortunate. Um... Anyway, if you've enjoyed, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out the videos that should be appearing on your screen around about now. Take a look at my social media, my Twitter, my Facebook for all of my updates, schedules, and that kind of jazz. Also, check out my Twitch, because that is where all of my live streams happen. Well, pretty much all of my live streams happen. And don't forget, go nuts for gaming. See you later, guys. Bye for now.